Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at a Craftsman YT4000 and the customer brought it in and said they may have a carburetor issue. I started taking a look at it and I realized very quickly that this is the same issue I've seen five or six times in the last couple months when people try to replace their carburetor on their Briggs & Stratton V-Twin Intec engines. I'm going to show you how not to be like them and to get your engine running right without making this same mistake. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button as we go along if you enjoy the content. Get the hood off here real quick. Then I'll show you how this sounds. Definitely doesn't sound so hot, right? It's a brand new carburetor after I inspected it, but there's one thing that they did wrong when they put this on. We start taking a look here, and the first thing I notice is that the linkage for the governor is on backwards. This piece is supposed to be in the carburetor and vice versa. The carburetor is a brand new carburetor, aftermarket of course. Carburetor has some plier marks on it. Like somebody's tried to take it off thinking maybe it wasn't working or something. And a telltale sign of somebody who does not know exactly what they're doing, the valve cover's on upside down. Not a big deal, but uh, we've got the choke as we look at it that is stuck in the up position. So it was still here even though we were off choke at the mower control. There's a very specific reason for that. And the reason is that this carburetor is completely the wrong carburetor for this engine. What I think happened in this case, as it seems to be with most cases, people go online and they look up the carburetor and they find one and they're like, hey, that looks exactly like mine. Well, these look exactly the same, but there's a very important difference that matters. And that is that the chokes here, this one does not spring back and this one springs back to open. It has a spring that keeps it open until it's pushed. This is the version that they call the chokematic version. And this is one that uses a different choke than the throttle control cable. So if your cable is all in one, uh, if you flip it all the way to the top to choke it, this is the carburetor you're going to need, the chokematic. If you have a separate cable, this is the one you're going to need. You look up the engine information off the top of that valve cover or the bottom in this case, since it's upside down or the side of the engine. And that'll tell you exactly which carburetor you need, but you've got to get the right version of that carburetor. We're going to see how this would run if the choke was in the off position. Obviously, it looks like they had probably adjusted the valves. Uh, they replaced everything they possibly could. Fuel filters on backwards. But not trying to knock the DIY guys. Obviously, that's who these videos are for, is for you guys. But do a little bit of research and make sure that you're doing it right. Let's see how this runs without the choke on at all. actually seems like as far as the carburetor goes this guy did a pretty darn good job no air leaks it doesn't sound like um, obviously the linkage is on backwards that's going to need addressed but overall he did a good job but made that one simple mistake that made his job extremely extremely bad for the running of it don't make the same mistake he did get the right carburetor get the chokomatic or the other version depending on which one you have. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if I helped you out. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.